Hello, I'm Chris Menard. Today is Monday, March 22nd. I'm going to run through a few new Microsoft Teams features. There's just a few of these that I'm going to run through. It's having to do with the new look in Microsoft Teams. So here is the new look in Teams. If you recall, if you have the old one, this has probably got a blue or a purplish area over here on the navigation bar or sidebar. And it may look slightly different up here. So we have this grayish background now. If you don't see that, I'm going to move up to the top right hand corner and there's my picture. So if you don't see your picture, you'll see your initials. That is where you add or change your picture. Go ahead first and make sure you have all your updates with check for updates. Feel free to go about. I'm going to show you what version I have. I'm on the desktop version using a PC, by the way. That's the key right there. If you still don't have this when you click on sign out, and this actually happened to me. Sign out would not change this to the new look. Down in your notification area, which is where your clock is in the bottom right corner, if you need to, click on the up arrow, go find the Teams icon, and select Quit. Quit Teams, restart, and then hopefully you have this new look it has. But here's a cool feature in here. I have been jumping around all morning from chat to Teams to calendar, just to prove this, I'm going to go to Carol and type in this message to Carol. It doesn't matter what it is. Here's another one. I'm going to go to Christian, type in a message here, and then go to my calendar. Teams in the top left corner now has back and forward. There are the arrows up in the top left. If I click back, I'm on Christian. Back again, Carol. Back again, I'm over here. Christian's saying, what's up? That's cool. Watch this. If I go forward, I'm, I'm continuing to click forward. As far as I can go, it's grayed out. Another cool feature is if you don't want to sit there going back, 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 just put your mouse on the icon and it will show you the history. How about that? Another easy, cool feature is if you're a member, if you've been invited to another tenant or another organization's team, well, to get to it, it used to be a drop-down arrow here, right around here where my mouse is pointing. Now they have added it here to accounts and organizations. So anyone that has invited me, Chris at chrismenard.net, to their organization, I'm a guest of theirs. If I just click here, accounts and organizations, they're the other organizations that I'm a member of. If you notice... The current one I'm in has got this little blue or purplish line right here, but I can easily swap to other ones right here. Easy, easy feature there. I'm going to hit back and I'm here. Another really nice feature is if I'm on the calendar, here is the Meet Now icon. Well, if you're working in Outlook on the desktop calendar, that is exactly the same Meet Now. So let's test this, then I'm going to tell you another new feature they've got. When I hit Meet Now, again, it doesn't matter whether I'm doing this from Outlook Meet Now or Teams Calendar Meet Now. This isn't what's new. I've already covered this in a video. This is where you get your video set up on the left and your audio set up on the right, including your backgrounds. Join now. Here's the new feature. You get this little invite pane, so if you're going to have a meet now, well, the question is, well, how are you going to invite people there? Copy meeting link, add participants, and share via default email. So this is a cool feature. I'm going to close that out and get out of this meeting right now. So that's another new feature. Also in Outlook, I just wanted to show you this. Um, there is new Teams meeting. That's nothing new, actually. But what is new is if you go to File and Options, Calendar, Add Online Meetings to All Meetings. Every meeting I schedule by default will be a Teams meeting, so I don't have to remember to click this. Now watch this. When I go to Calendar now, let's see if this works. Right-click, New Meeting Request. There's my Teams meeting, so also new now. Well, what if you don't want one of your meetings to be a Teams meeting? There's the join, settings, don't host online. What that, what that said is, don't make a Teams meeting. Watch this. 
Now this meeting is not a Teams meeting. So that's also new. Anyway, if you have any comments or questions about this, please let me know. Let me know if you not like the new look here of Teams. I do like it myself. And just as a bonus tip, I believe you know this already, but just in case you don't, if you come to your profile picture or your initials and go to settings, you've got these other options. And because of this new layout, these actually look slightly different. I'm going to go with that one right there for now. These do look slightly different than they did before when we had the sidebar being in blue. I've noticed that. Let me know what you think about the new features in Teams. Let me know if you have any requests. I do have a request that I am going to do. Someone asked me when you're in a Teams meeting exactly how to spotlight work. That will be coming up as my next Teams video, which will be really soon. I appreciate your time and I appreciate your support. Have a wonderful day. I'm going to be on the road traveling on a little holiday, but I'll still be recording while I'm gone. And I'll throw in some of the uh, local city atmosphere while I'm in the videos. Thank you. Have a good one.